Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. It's our opportunity to hear what God is saying to us today. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. We can say with confidence and a clear conscience that we have lived with a God-given holiness and sincerity in all our dealings. We have depended on God's grace, not on our own human wisdom. This is how we have conducted ourselves before the world and especially toward you. Life isn't always easy, is it? It certainly wasn't for Paul, whose ministry often came under vicious attack. I've always found his relationship with the church in Corinth particularly painful because this was a church that he'd helped to establish. He loved them passionately and he was desperately eager for them to grow and thrive in the Lord. However, time and again, they were a great disappointment to him. But it got even worse when they started making cruel and totally unfounded accusations against him. Nothing is harder than people accusing you falsely. It can easily happen, and it's so incredibly painful. When you know in your heart of hearts that you've acted out of love and concern, it's agonising to be accused of acting out of self-interest. Paul's response is that he's absolutely convinced that he's acted in the right way towards God. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what other people make of our ministry. What matters is what God makes of it. And Paul is utterly convinced that he's ministered in the right way. I've had the privilege of working with hundreds of church leaders over the years, and I've often seen them being accused by others. It's always painful and difficult. What happens in those moments is that it's easy to focus on the detail of the accusation. But what matters most is that we stand before God and assess where we are before him. If we are, like Paul, convinced that we've acted in a way that's honouring to God, then we should give thanks and enjoy the peace which God gives us. It's still appropriate to answer our critics, but we'll do so not in our own strength and wisdom, but in God's. Now let me ask you a question. What would you do if you were falsely accused? Now let me pray with you. Dear Father, thank you that you don't leave us when times are hard. Help us always to respond to criticism with grace, wisdom and love. Amen. Well, thanks for listening. I do encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And don't forget that the talks are also available on podcasts, which you can access, of course, at any time. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and a great deal more besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.